Namaste. Hello. Hello. I would like to know how I can get an opportunity to speak in the Parliament of Religions. It will begin on the 11th of September, sir. Oh. In two months from now, if you're an authorized representative of a nation or society, then you'll be granted an opportunity to speak. Oh, I see. Thank you. In two months from now, if you're an authorized representative of a nation or society, then you'll be granted an opportunity to speak. So little in hand, and two long months to survive. And now, I invite the wandering Hindu monk from India, Swami Vivekananda. Sisters and brothers of America. It fills my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome given to us. I thank you in the name of the most ancient order of monks in the world. I thank you in the name of the mother of religions. And I thank you in the name of millions and millions of Hindu people of all classes and sects. My thanks also to some of the speakers from the stage who, referring to the delegates from the Orient, have told you that these men 
from far off nations may well claim the honor of bearing to different lands the idea of toleration. I am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both toleration and acceptance. We believe not only in universal tolerance, but we also accept all religions as true. I am proud to belong to a nation which has sheltered the persecuted and the refugees of all religions and nations of the earth. I am proud to tell you that we have gathered in our bosom the purest remnant of Israelites who came to southern India and took refuge with us in the very year in which their holy temple was shattered to pieces by Roman tyranny. I am proud to belong to the religion which has sheltered and is still fostering the remnants of the grand Zoroastrian nation. I will go to you, brethren, a few lines from a hymn which I remember to have repeated from my earliest boyhood which is every day repeated by millions of human beings. Yatha nadhyaha syandamana samudre stham gachanti Namarupa Vihaya As different streams having their sources in different places all mingle their water in the sea. So, O oh Lord, different paths which men take due to different tendencies Various though they appear, crooked or straight, all lead to be. The present convention, which is one of the most august assemblies ever held, is in itself a vindication, a declaration to the world of the wonderful doctrine preached in the Gita. Sarva dharman parityajya maamekam sharanam vajah Whomsoever comes to me in whatsoever form I reach him. All men are struggling through different paths which in the end lead to me. Sectarianism, bigotry, and its horrible descendant, fanaticism, have long possessed this beautiful earth. They have filled this earth with violence, drenched it often and often with human blood, destroyed civilizations and sent whole nations to despair. Had it not been for those horrible demons, human society would be far more advanced than it is now. But their time has come, and I fervently hope that the bell that tolled this morning in the honor of this convention may be the death knell of all fanaticism, of all persecutions with the sword or with a pen, and of all uncharitable feelings between persons, bending their way to the same goal. <laughs>